Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. Welcome to Not Perfect Zen and Days 7 and 8 of Inktober Tangles 2022. Um, I do have an introductory video that you can look at. It has a little bit of information, but um, I'm using two by two tiles that I watercolored, and I do have a link to how to do that. Um, these are the hashtags that you can use. And let's get started. Today's patterns are Flux Echo by Lynn Mead. And, uh, sorry about that. and Snack by Tomas Padros, and both of them are CZTs, and these are fun. Uh, had to work with this one a little bit to get comfortable with it, but uh, they're both fun patterns that you can do a lot with, and I'm going to start with Flux Echo. And I just pick these out randomly. I'm going to put all of my two by twos into a 12 by 12 inch frame. And um, it's going to be fun. OK, so for Flux Echo, uh, she starts with an orb. Okay, and then she does similar to the flux pattern. Comes around and back in. And she says it kind of looks like an exclamation point. And then the echo part of it is that you're just going to come off of each side and kind of echo it. Bring it back down into that circle. You can make as few or as many of these as you would like. And then she does one that comes down a little bit here. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So I did three on this side. I'm going to go ahead and do that many on this side, and I'm bringing them all up kind of to that center point, or at least to the top of that orb, and then put one that comes down below. And now I'm going to put some lines in the center, similar to what you see on flux. I'm giving it a little bit of a curve. Okay, so that's basically the pattern. I'm going to do another one. I think I'll just do it on the opposite direction. So I'm going to start with my orb. And it's curving in toward the center there. Here's our echo petals. Okay, and I'm not going to do as many as I did before. I have seen some with just a few petals. So again, with all of these patterns, part of the idea behind these is learning new patterns, playing with them, and see what you like. Okay, had that one go behind just a little bit. And then at the tops of these, 
I'm going to darken just the very top, the tip. Same here. And on some of these, I've seen you can bring that down to a point. And the ones that I saw, they didn't necessarily put that point on all of the petals. Go ahead and do it down here. Okay, same thing on this side. And this one I'm going to bring down to a little bit of a point to match that side. And down here on the bottom. Right. Forgot to put my lines inside. Okay. And then another really cute one that I saw. I'm going to do it smaller here. And I'm not sure who I saw that did this, but I really liked it. So we're basically doing the same thing. But I'm not going to put the one at the bottom. Instead of that, I'm going to put, we'll call it two little fescues. It ends up looking like a little bug. <laughs> okay, so... There you go. That's the basic way to do Flux Echo. It's botanical, so I love it. For shading, I'm going to put graphite down here at the bottom. And then where they overlap, just a little bit of shading along that side of the petal. And then just take your blending stump and soften that. And I like to use these blending stumps because I can clean them and Reuse them. Okay, same thing on this one. Just going to add a little bit of shading on each side of the petal. Go ahead and add a little bit down here on this little fella. And I'm going to put just a little bit. These are so small, it's hard to get much in there, but I'll put that little C shape 
and then I just barely softened it. So there we are. That's Flux Echo. And again, what I had in my practice was those basic ones. And again, this is one that's very simple. Okay. The next one that we're going to do is Snack by Tomas Padros. And um, this one is really cute. And I struggled to make my filler look good. But uh, this is the basic step. You start with an S. And then these are the different ways that you can finish it. And you can do it as a fragment. So let me show you just quickly on here. I watched one lady who did it by putting the dots down first. We're going to do an S shape. I'm going to come around this way. And around and down through the center. And then I'm going to come back around to that dot. Of course, you can do it without putting those dots. I'm just going to make that S shape. I'm not looking for any kind of perfection here. Come back around. And then when you have your initial shapes, you're going to go back to that first line. And you can bring it around and kind of curve it back down. Same thing on this side. Like that. You can bring it and have it just kind of blend in like that. Okay. And the other thing that you can do is what he calls half snack. Come down and just stop. And then come around and meet up with that. So what I decided to do was the um, fragment. And I'm going to start by dividing my tile in half. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with my pen. So I'm going to put this fragment in a grid. And now I'm going to divide that. Each one of these into triangles. Okay, and now we're going to start adding our snacks. These are going to be half snacks. And so we're going to start our S shape. And I'm going to bring this kind of oblong like that. Go up to the edge. And we're going to kind of smoosh it in. Come back along that edge. Up to this one. And then back down. Kind of reminds me of doing in Zeppel. Okay, so we're coming to this side. We're going to start our S. Come back up to that line. And I'm going really close to the edge. And then come back down along this line. 
almost like you're putting a long balloon in there. All right, so we're just going to continue doing that. Get a lot of practice on this one. So we're doing the S shape. And I went off the tile. <laughs> And we'll just fill this in anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it now because it's, I want to even that out. Okay. We'll come back and do that on all of them. And then back to this other edge. Or rather, the other triangle. I thought it was fun how this one looked after I did it. Oops. Okay, here we go. Down on the bottom of that, I'm kind of making it straight. Follow this line, smoosh it in, come back down. All right, one more. If you look at uh, the step outs from Tomas, he has a lot of great ideas. And um, I have found them on Instagram and on Facebook. He has the step outs in both of those places. So I would encourage you to look at his ideas. He goes into a lot of detail and he always has great ideas. Okay, so I'm going to start filling these in. And you can use that opportunity to round any edges that didn't get done just right. Not that I'm looking for perfection, but rounding does help you to fix your edges sometimes. I've really enjoyed working with these tiles that I made. Um, I used Lindy's Magicals and a natural sponge. And the ones that are like this that don't have a huge amount of color are my favorite ones to use. And I'll come back and fill these in a little bit better. I'm going to put this underneath because I keep coming off the page or the tile.
A lot of times I'll come back with a brush pen or a graphic one to fill these in just a little bit better because this is just an O1. Plus, I think my pen might be running out of ink. The reason I have this on here is so I know which pen I'm using. And uh, I'll keep working with the same pen until I finally run out of ink. And I think I'm getting close. Okay. And like I said, it's not finished, but I want to go ahead and show you some uh, shading. I'm going to put just a little bit on the bottom of each of these, and then a little bit coming around this top. So where this is rounding, Okay, and then take my blending stump and just soften that. I'm going to go ahead and connect those. Okay, just a little bit more here. Okay. okay, I had to pause my phone, and while I had it paused, um, went ahead and took a brush pen and filled that in a little better. So it does look better than it did. Okay, so there's day eight again. And that's snack. Day seven, flux echo. And we'll see what we've got so far. One, two, 
Two, three. I may not have these in order, but we have eight tiles so far. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'll have another recording in two days. Let me get this to a next shot. Okay. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you had fun. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.